Hello, uh, I'm Dr. Anthony Harper here at the Idaho State Capitol with Pastor Paul Thompson. I'm here with a, a Liberate Idaho event. And best, Pastor Paul, uh, what is this event all about? Yeah, well, first of all, thanks, Andy, for Anthony, for the opportunity to, to talk about this rally. We, we've gathered here at the State House on May the 1st, basically just say, we, we want to say to, the, to our government that we love you, that we're praying for you. That we're Apostle Paul. In the New Testament tells us that to the believer, you are to shine like stars in a dark world. So in a dark day like this, I find no better place to go to than the Word of God. And so uh, I'm, I've come by to encourage you from that ancient text of the Word of God and to ask some of the same questions that you're asking, to ask some of the same questions that Gabe just posed before us as well. What are a people to do when it's government limits who can work and when work can resume. So like you have been thinking about this for some time and think what does the word of God, this lamp, say about work? And you know, it's not the primary thing that the word of God speaks about. The primary thing that the word of God speaks about is the glory of God, the righteousness of God. Waters, we have remained compliant and peaceful as our leaders have made very unconstitutional and burdensome burdensome decisions that have had catastrophic impacts on our churches, businesses, paychecks, and our way of life. We have prayed, we have emailed, we have communicated peacefully with our state officials during the governor's stay-at-home order, and we continue to, de to desire to honor them peacefully despite significant disagreement. We are not here because we are bitter or malicious or because we think our governor is full of ill intentions or tyrannical motives. Quite the contrary. We are here because a number of us have voted for Governor Little and want to encourage him to make decisions from a position of courage, sound reason, and in line with our state and federal constitutions. We are not China, we are not Italy, we are not New York City, we are Idaho, and apply the same blanket and arbitrary standards to Idaho without a major threat has devastated tens of thousands of lives here in Idaho. There have been protests up and down the state of Idaho, some healthy and some misguided, so with that in mind, I want to frame why we are rallying here today. We have intentionally named this event a rally because we really do want our presence to be an encouragement and a blessing to our leaders and fellow citizens here in Idaho. We are calling this a rally because courage begets courage. And in a time where fear runs the show, we really do need to rally the troops to honor and pray for our leadership, to demonstrate a joyful demeanor in the midst of intense disagreement with our leadership, and to stand for truth. While we are grateful that some job restrictions are being relaxed starting today, many are still forbidden from going back to work. In addition to this, the governor's Idaho rebounds plan has projected an end date of June 26. We don't want to just rally for short-term change for the current rebound Idaho restrictions. We also want to rally here today for the long-term change needed to correct the damage that was done to our constitution, to our livelihoods, and to all the unforeseen liberties that have been eroded because of the decisions of our local and state leaders. So when you leave here today, I want you guys to walk away with four things. First, as citizens of Idaho, we have to do better, a better job praying and honoring and encouraging our governor and legislators as they lead our state. Crisis or no crisis, disagreement or no disagreement, when the economy's good or when it's bad, we as citizens need to humble ourselves before God faithfully and pray for our leaders. For Paul in 1 Timothy chapter 2 says, make prayers and intercessions and thanksgiving for kings and all who are in high positions that we may lead a peaceful and quiet life, godly and dignified in every way. We have an upheaval in our land because we as citizens have not diligently prayed for our leaders. Secondly, to be a faithful citizen is to stand up and speak out when our leaders do not obey the Constitution. Our Idaho Constitution only allows for the authority to quarantine specific locations and isolate the sick. Governor Little's resolution has flipped this upside down as he has quarantined the state and isolated everyone. Thirdly, whatever happened to the Republican mantra of individual liberties? Whatever happened to the, cost, the conservative vision that individuals are the, in the best position to make their own decisions about their own health, when to open and close their businesses, how to operate their own businesses, 
and how we as individuals choose to interact with our communities. We are here to remind our conservative leaders of these values that have supposedly, they have supposedly fought for for their whole entire political careers and are now trampling on these values in the name of our own safety. With liberty comes great responsibility, and today our leaders have ignored this very principle that has made Idaho such a great state to live in. Lastly, there is a lot of unforeseen damage being done to our freedoms and our Constitution if we do not stand up now. Given how this arbitrary shutdown has took place and how easy it was for our government to take away our liberties through warrantless and unconstitutional means, this rally is to make sure this never happens again. The government is not known for giving back you li your liberties. And so as you leave here today, resolve to elect leaders who keep their word, who are not given over to covetousness, and who fear the triune God.